Hey guys. So rare and random. Okay, I'm in the kitchen at 7.45 p.m. Hi, I'm Rosa. Welcome back to the channel. But I left a story on Instagram today, or just a, maybe 30 minutes ago, that I just started my very first. I did my, what is it, home delivery thing for food with Aldi's. You guys, like, I don't think you got, like, this is like serious for me because I have a problem of control. <laughs> and to allow someone else to pick my food for me, hello. So, but if it's as convenient as it seems, hold on, notification. Oh, never mind, wrong app. If it's as easy as it seems, I am never <laughs> to go to Aldi's again. And I will be doing this from now on. I'm just, I'm like, what? So we're waiting for him to get here. And crazy enough, let me turn on some lights. This is the night that I'm home alone. <laughs> and I'm having some random person bring me my groceries, you guys. So, Like seriously, but what I wanted to do was show you what I got in my order. Um, anyway, so like I just, I'm gonna show you guys what I get in my order. So this is gonna turn into a haul. But anyway, I just wanted to um, show you this guys and give you a, a quick Aldi haul. But in the same process, like have you guys really experienced my first time doing this? This is insane. I'm like stinking excited. I'm so excited. It's my mom. I don't have time right now, mom. I know what she's calling me for. But I don't have time right now. I'm waiting for my groceries. Anyway, so if you are new, my name is Rosa. Welcome. <laughs> I'm a mama of three boys, and today I actually tried Fridays are my days of running errands and doing groceries. And I've contemplated on doing a vlog style day in the life, clean with me, speak clean, whatever, but I don't even get time to do a speak clean on Fridays. Don't even clean. But um, I've been wanting to do a vlog style for you guys, but then I know that those don't really get a lot of views on, on cleaning channels. So, but I know grocery hauls do, but I wanted to, you know, guys, I wanted to give you guys that. But um, I lost my train of thought because I'm so stinking excited. I'm waiting for the doorbell to ring and my dog to go crazy. But, welcome, and, um, yikes, oh, what was I saying? I'm Rosa, <laughs> I'm a mama of three kiddos. I'm a mama of three kiddos, and my husband works um, on the road, and um, he's actually due home soon, I'm so excited. And um, my two younger ones are out with their uncle, and are doing birthday celebrations because tonight is Liam's birthday. He turns 11, or he is 11. And then my oldest is out with some friends. So what do you do when you don't have kids? You do an order delivery and then you go and lay down and watch Dr. Phil or Hallmark. Anyway, let's, um, I'm excited. Since I have you guys, I did a little bit of Christmas shopping, not Christmas shopping, decorating shopping, because I'm getting the itch to decorate, like put some holiday stuff. So I've been taking down some of the fall decor. I explained that yesterday's video, one of the past couple of videos, I explained that I've been wanting to get the fall stuff down because I've like everyone's decorating for Christmas and I know I don't need to follow that. I don't need to do what they do, but like, I'm really excited. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got really quick. I went to Target and then I went to TG Maxx um, and then I'll show you guys my Aldi haul. So this is what I got from Target, from the Target dollar spot. This was super cute. It was only five bucks. Black on the on one side and the Mrs. Claus Cookie Company. I love that. And then I got this tree skirt because I got a small um, tree 
flopped tray that I'm going to put on the little miniature table. And then I got, I already took them out of the packaging, but I got these twinkling lights because I had to put the um, batteries in there. But super cool. I got these from Walmart. They were like a dollar eighty-nine. She skirt was in from the dollar spot. I'm at Target and it was seven bucks. And then I got this to take up north with us when we go for Christmas. This is a snowman build. A snowman kit, you guys. This is so stinking cute. It's in the dollar spot for five bucks. Thought this was so cute for Liam to take with him because he's gonna be spending some time with Daddy O and it's already snowing where Daddy O is, so that'll be cool. And then, oh, and then I got these in the dollar spot. They're the men's, and I thought, oh, medium large. Didn't think that they're gonna be like super huge, but they are huge. Look at that gap. Too much spice, but I'll just keep them from my husband, I guess. <laughs> um, but then I got this from Walmart. It's all holy night, which I thought would be really cute because I have a um, a decorate uh, something to go by the front door, and that'll go really cute in there. And then I went and got these little bows that are 99 cents. These are the bows that I put on my light posts outside. Um, to, I guess, light up the entryway. So I've got four of them because I got two, two in the driveway and two by the front door. So I got four of those. And then this is what I'm stinking excited about, you guys. So I, I've said that I'm not really huge or big into to Ray Dunn, but I do like collecting a few things. And so these are so cute. These are um, ornaments. And I saw them and I thought this would be perfect to put in a little glass bowl um, or for decoration, I'm not gonna put them on the tree. Um, but it, they say love, peace, and joy, or joy, peace, and love. You guys, these are so stinking cute, look at that. And they were $12.99 for the pack. Um, I also got two other things that were redone. Um, this little spray, I thought, it's so cute. I like it just for, you know, just to have. So that goes there. Um, I bought this a couple weeks ago. Got this from TJ Maxx. The spray was $9.99. And then the Blessed Tree House was $19.99. And yes, I put it out the minute I got home because I was not gonna put that away. Um, and then I got these also, I think last week, um, milk jugs, it looks like milk jugs. They're $7.99 each. There's one that says love. And then the other one, yes, I got two. Um, the other one says peace. And these little flowers I got from Ikea. Um, I thought they were really cute. And that one also, that one is also $7.99. But I had to get this mug because I love this mug. <laughs> but Superwoman. <laughs> There was another one that said Cool Mom. Um, I was like torn in between Cool Mom and Superwoman, but I'm like, I feel like Cool Mom is something that I'll probably see again, where Superwoman hmm, may not see again, but I really like that. So this is my little um, coffee bar area, and all the mugs that I keep out, if you've noticed in my vlogs, are all redone. So I said like, I collect, but I don't, so like, the husband is calling. So it's all here. So, I thought I picked the location literally less than five minutes away from me. But apparently, I picked a location that's maybe 15 minutes away from me. 15, 20 minutes, I don't know, 20 minutes max. But the guy was super sweet, very kind, and was able to give me some tips. He goes, you may want to pick the one closer to you next time. I'm like, oh no, I thought I did, which I really thought I did because I bounced back and forth trying to figure it all out. But anyway, haul time. I am 
like so excited about this, you guys. I am going to share this with you guys and let you know. That's Penny, she's in her crate. If you could hear her, hold on a second. Okay, so let me show you what all I got. First off, since I got the two big things in my hand, I always get my seltzer water. Seltzer water, seltzer water. Um, it is like, look, seltzer water is seltzer water. I am not bougie with food. I know there's certain things that taste better um, with store brand, but let me tell you something. I've got three growing boys, 18, 14, and 10. My 18 is 6'1", in a size 12 shoe. My 14 year old is 5'11", 5'12", in a size 13 shoe, still growing. And my 11 year old, who just turned 11 today, is this high <laughs> and is wearing a size eight and a half men's shoe. So we is far from being bougie because if my kids need to be fed, it's gonna be some Aldi's chips and at $4.99 or at $5.99 versus the Frito-Lays because it's gotta be Dorito brand and that's $7 a bag. Nah, boo boo. No. No, boo boo. Uh-uh. <laughs> anyway, so, next. Oh my word, no wonder I got like 52 bags. So, pizza rolls, ice cream, and we're doing this because it's Liam's birthday and I'm gonna make him some brownies. It's normally regular ice cream vanilla, but um, the notification said that they were out. So they swapped it for the cookies and cream. And here's the best thing. So if they run out of something, I've got to approve it to make sure if not, they're going to refund me. Yes, boo-boo, yes. Then I got them their regular crunch bar. Okay. What did they do, three items a bag? Okay, sure. Anyway, gallon of milk. Here, a gallon of milk at Aldi's is like $1.89, where a gallon of milk even at Publix, which is probably like a Giant Eagle or a Safeway for others, um, gallon of milk is like $4 there, where it's $1.89. Um, I used to buy them by two at a time, but because that's a fixed price for Aldi's right now, I'm not buying it unless it goes up and then it drops down for sale, then I will. And then I'll buy two and I'll decrease one. But the kids go through a gallon of milk in a week, dude. In a week. Anyway, so then I got French vanilla creamer. This is for both Gabriel and I. Um, so here's the update on keto. It is going great when I do it. Oh, sharp cheese too. It really is. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. When I do it, oh my gosh, you guys. I love, <laughs> I love that they're cautious. One bag for some chicken leg quarters that Jesus, wasteful people, wasteful. Anyway, so then next is plantain chips. Um, so these are my ultimate favorite chips, but I do not do these. I actually buy these for my 18 year old. He loves these chips. So that is his treat every time I, I go out. I always try to get the kids something. Um, and then the cereal, this is their version of the Cheerios. It's like a dollar something. I think out of all of this, my bill was like $84. $84. Um, a box of their version of the uh, pancakes, all it takes is water. Big, big trick. And I did it the first, I did it last week and I'm going to tell you guys, it is something that I'm gonna continue to do and I will share it in, in, in a video um, of how I batch these. So 
I literally make the entire box of pancakes. I get my griddle out and I make this entire box of pancakes and I freeze them. It is no different from buying the pre-made frozen pancakes for a count of 18, how do I know? Because I always buy them. Count of 18 for nearly $4 at Walmart when this only cost me a dollar 19 or a dollar 20, maybe a little bit more than that. But I know it was an adult, it was like a dollar something. Buy this, spend 15 minutes, make it fun, involve your kids, and make them and freeze it. And this gives you more. I think the first batch I had like 18 of one or 20 of one and 20 of another because I did regular and then I did pumpkin. So I had I add pumpkin, canned pumpkin, and it was, the kids liked it. They really enjoyed it. Um, and they've asked me to do it again. They prefer me to do it that way. One, it's cost effective, and then two, it's cost effective. Anyway, so got them some syrup, some syrup, and then toaster, <clears throat> toaster tarts. When I was not on keto, these jokers here, that's all I got to say. So back about keto, let's talk about keto. My groceries did involve keto friendly foods. Um, I was doing strict keto for a good month and a week, so about five weeks. And then we had a gathering um, and um, I crashed it. <laughs> I had bread pudding, sorry, and I had banana pudding. Sorry, um, but we have burgers and fry, or burgers and hot dogs, and I didn't have my burgers on any bread, so I've been sticking with the no bread. Um, but well, bread pudding. <laughs> Sorry, bread pudding is with bread, right? But outside of that, like I was no bread, no tortillas, no nothing, no white flour, no nothing, y'all. I was doing good, and then we had that gathering. And it was just a night of fellowship, and it was awesome. We talked with a bunch of, you know, had family friends over. It was just really good, we had fun. But I broke it, and the very next day, I was in so much pain. My stomach hurt so bad. I mean, to the point where I was like bending over, that's how bad it was. So, I said I'm not gonna let myself get that way. Um, so, I am still doing keto, but I'm allowing myself to have a treat or two. Um, so today, I had five pieces of candy corn, but I didn't eat anything, like my eating today was really good, so it wasn't a bad deal. Um, then, let's see, yesterday was kind of the same, I didn't, I was, I ate pretty good, so I'm still doing keto. Um, I'm not doing it like a lot of people are, which is like high, high in protein. I don't, like a lot of protein drives me crazy. I prefer a lot of greens, so I'm doing a lot more greens and then just a few things of protein. But anyway, this is gonna be like the very longest haul ever made. So let me continue. But keto is really good. See, pork rinds. <laughs> and pork rinds. Oh, another bag of pork rinds. Oh, here's the brownies for Liam. Not me. Liam. Um, then I'm starting to prep for Thanksgiving, so I got canned yams. There's two of those. I think I ordered four of those. Um, because we the kids and I love yams, and that's the other thing. I love Thanksgiving and all that comes with Thanksgiving, that includes food. So, I'm just saying. Don't tell me if I'm cooking and I can't have any, um, what is it, mac and cheese or canned yams, we don't have a problem. So I got minced garlic, cause I'm, I think like, like just a skosh away from being out. And then I got tuna because I really do like the tuna with um, um, pork rinds, really good. I'm sick in the keto. Got a bag of avocados. I hope they're not too, 
top. Celery. Um, potatoes, because I'm going to make the kids a beef stew, hot roast kind of deal. Um, and I'm gonna do it in my slow cooker. Showing up will. And, um, <laughs> and I'm excited about it because I could be using these. You guys, I have been so sick and excited to try these and I always forget to do it. I have watched someone, another YouTube mama, pull these out and I'm like, where on earth have I been? Just like, where have I been about this whole shopping thing? So far, this is heaven. Jesus answered my prayer again today. I tell you what, coffee, because I can't live without my coffee. Oh, here's the um, baked beans we do. Quite a bit of baked beans up in this house when it comes to turkey day. So that's for Thanksgiving. And here are the other two cans of the canned jam. I actually ordered three, four cans of baked beans, but they didn't have any more at that location. The one that was like 20 minutes away. Um, so they um, sent me a message on the app saying that there are only three left. Will I accept the change? And I'm like, yeah. Then I got my son being the sausages. Um, growing up, so I'm Puerto Rican and uh, my family always made this with rice. So it was arroz con salchicha. Um, so we would always make it, it was delicious. I used to make it like once or twice with my kids. Um, like not all the time, like growing up, I would make it for him. Um, but I haven't really made it for him in a long time, but my oldest son and my kids love to just eat these out of the can, um, which I thought was hysterical. Oh my gosh. And they're keto friendly. <laughs> yes. It's only a carb and like less than one sugar, but still like what I want to eat this, this is like corn syrup, the whole king of Budo. Insane, so probably not. My son will eat these, my 18 year old, because everything that goes in his mouth comes right out. One of our closest friends, <laughs> well, has renamed them. And this is a bad joke. So if there's any little ones listening, mamas and daddies cover their ears, but we call them monkey. And that's just a joke. I don't call them that all the time, but my friend calls because he said they look like little monkey. <laughs> Bad joke. I may take that out. Anyway, so I got carrots for the stew. Um, so the carbs on this is eight carbs, two dietary fibers so that makes it down to five but the sugars on this is five, so it's pretty high. So this is something that they said that you can't have on keto because the sugar is pretty darn high. But um, knowing me, I may sneak a carrot too um, in my meal, just saying. Um, got some cucumbers because my go-to snack lately has been um, cucumbers and ranch, you guys, y'all. Y'all don't know, y'all missing out. Out of 500 bags, because they bagged everything, like three per bag, we've got chicken nuggets. This is on the menu, which I will show you guys at the back. Pizza rolls. And then these bad boys. So these my son loves, and I do too. These are pork sausage patties. These are really good. They're only two carbs, zero sugar, um, and it's one patty. So um, I would eat like one or two depending on what I'm planned out, planning out for the day for me to eat. Um, so, I mean, it's a slow process. The keto thing, it is slow in regards to the weight loss, but it's, I'm not looking at it as weight loss. I'm looking at, well, I'm not gonna lie. I like for the weight loss, but I'm looking at it for a way of a, a way of eating, um, like the sugar, the high sugar intake. Like today, y'all, I went to Walmart, and I, why did I go down the candy aisle? So I got my dark chocolate that I always get from there, which is insane. I love it. It's like 90% because anything higher than that, you're just eating dirt. Um, 
and it's the Lind uh, L I N D T. Yeah, that one. Um, so I'm going down this aisle, looking to the left for all the candy, and I happen to look look to the right, and guess what I see? Uh oh, Halloween candy on sale. Guess what I did? I bought it. Candy corn, bag of candy corn. It was like 47 cents. Bought a bag of bubble, double bubble yum because that's what my son Liam wanted because he plays baseball so he wanted gum to have while he played. 50 something cents. Just saying, just saying. Let me show you the menu. So this is the menu for the week, as today is takeout because it's Friday, but it's also Liam's birthday, so he's out with his uncle. F F Y S. <laughs> Don't make fun, but it says "fend for yourself." My kids are able and capable of making yourself something to eat, or making themselves something to eat. So Friday, I typically do that one night of the week, um, and I always make sure that I have other things in the house for them to have to fill in for that night. So for Sunday, we're gonna do beef stew. Uh, to Monday, we're doing frozen pizza because any of the nights that have dots, these are the nights that we have either practice, Bible study, um, a game of some sort. So, and these are typically like two hours long. So um, yes, I could be making dinner early, so it does depend and you guys will see in a minute what that would be. So Monday is frozen pizza, um, Tuesday nuggets and fries, Wednesday rice and eggs. So um, in a Hispanic household, uh, that is a, well and let me just put it this way, in my household growing up, that was a weekly meal. Um, if not every other week. It was a given. Rice is a staple in a Latina's household and a Hispanic household. <gasps> Hold on. Get off my table. How do I fix that? Anyway, um, in a Spanish household, that's, rice is just a staple and that's what it is. And so um, it, it's either rice and chicken, rice and beans and chicken, rice with chicken, you know, arroz con gandule, arroz con habichuela, habichuela y arroz, I mean, er everything, you know, arroz con sachicha, um, you know, it's just, there's so much, um, rice and eggs, just all kinds of things. And so, soup with rice, <laughs> um, and that was the thing that we did. So if we made chicken noodle soup, we always made a little pot of white rice, always, always, always. But anyway. So um, that is something that I raised my kids on. I showed them that was a, we called it growing up a poor Rican's meal. <laughs> Cause it's, it's, it's like rice was very conveniently, it was per, you know, price was good. Um, eggs, either you had chickens in the backyard, you got your eggs that way, or you went to the store and bought them for whatever the cray was, but you could feed a family off of that. So, um, but we do, um, Maduros with it, or, um, well, that's all we really do with it. Well, our house. Um, or no, I mean, we've got tortones, but we prefer the kids like plantains. So maduros are like the sweet plantains. Um, tortones are the green, they're not sweet, but they're like, anyway, anyway. Um, so rice and eggs, and then we've got Mac and cheese and chops, either I put pork chops down. So instead of pork chops, we're actually gonna do chicken, which is gonna be that. And I have a few drumsticks in the can, in the freezer. Um, but this is a go-to for my kids. They love mac and cheese and pork chops. And I'll put fry, um, vegetables, which we have in the freezer. Fridays are typically our takeouts because these days are um, the craziest for me, such as running around, getting groceries done, planning out for the week, planning out for the weekend, all that, you know, good jazz and having a game today. Liam didn't have a game because the other team canceled. So um, they were going to practice, but then practice got canceled because it rained all day. And so they're out with their uncle and they're having a good time, I think. 
Um, and then Saturdays are FFYS. So anyway, that's kind of where that's like, but that's that's our our that's our plan, y'all. Uh, y'all and and this is a lot of a mess. So I, now I have to clean all this up, put all this stuff away. So I'm gonna go and do that now, but I just wanted to, you know, show you guys. I am so sick and excited. Can you tell? Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul from Aldi's, Target, um, TJ Maxx, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Much love, and God bless.